The Big Bang is the theory that the universe as we know it came to being about 13.8 billion years ago when it exploded out from a single point and then slowly cooled to form all we see today. And evolution is the theory that all the wide variety of life that we see now has come about by the slow selection of traits generation after generation over millions of years. The question is, is it possible to be a Christian and also accept evolution and the Big Bang? I think it is, and I'd like to use this video to deal with three potential issues that people sometimes have with that view. The first potential issue is whether the long timescales involved in evolution and the Big Bang are compatible with the seven days of creation described in the book of Genesis. The key to this issue, as we discussed in the previous video on Genesis, is that many Christian thinkers over the ages have suggested that it's probably unwise to read the creation counts of Genesis literally. Instead, the story depicts God as a craftsman doing a week's work forming and fashioning the earth. And so the seven days are part of an illustration of God's relationship to the world as its maker that God purposefully made all things for human flourishing with the aim of dwelling with them. This message is true no matter how long the literal time scale of creation is. The second potential issue is that some people claim that the Big Bang and evolution imply that the whole universe is just the product of random chance. Whereas the Bible says that God made all things purposefully. But I don't think that we have to say that for God to achieve his purposes in the world, he had to make everything as it is now, right from the beginning. The Bible says that God was able to use all the randomness and developments of history to achieve the exact design and purposes in the life of his son, Jesus. So it's possible that he might have done the same in natural history using all the amazing and intricate processes of nature to achieve and develop the world that he wanted. The third potential issue is that some claim that evolution undermines the distinctiveness between animals and humans, whereas the Bible clearly affirms that humans and animals are different. But reflecting on the Genesis story, the key difference between humans and animals there it's not that humans are particularly cleverer or made particularly differently, but rather it's that God chooses to speak to them and to have a personal relationship with them and give them a task. So maybe the difference between humans and animals is not that humans didn't evolve or are made to be naturally different. Maybe it's about how God relates to us and the relationship he offers us. In conclusion, it's definitely possible to be a Christian and to accept evolution and the Big Bang. The difference is that Christians don't believe that our existence is explained solely by those events. So whatever the timescale or method that God used to bring us into being, the same message of Genesis stands true. That God made all things with a purpose, and human beings especially, that they might know him, live with him and represent him in the world.